Hey friends, hey guys, and welcome to this pregnancy update. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. You would think I've never done one of these before. <laughs> I am currently 17. Oh, oh, oh wow. I'm, I'm 17 and a half weeks, so we'll just say 17 weeks for that, all intensive purposes. I'm gonna be 18 weeks in a few days, and I am currently pregnant with our baby boy. Yes. That's right, we are having a baby boy. We are so excited. If you did not see that gender reveal, make sure you go check it out. It is the video before this one. We're having a boy. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to let you guys all know his cute little name. <laughs> I'm not doing like this massive, huge gender reveal. Not, <laughs> I did a gender reveal. Oh, the T. I'm not doing like this name reveal. I just, I wanna share his name with you guys organically and naturally. And, um, I can't, I can't wait to tell you, honestly, because I'm going to slip up. I know myself. So make sure you guys stick to the end of this video so you can learn what little guy's name is. But we are having a baby boy and we are so excited. So excited. <laughs> like, so excited. Um, I'm honestly still in shock. I think John is too, but we're both over the moon to have a little boy join our family in February. I am 17 weeks and I think the last time I did a pregnancy update I was 14 weeks, right? Yeah, wow. This pregnancy is flying by. I'm feeling really, 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 really good. Um, I do, I'm actually noticing as the weeks go on, um, my nausea kind of creeps back in a little bit sometimes at the most random times. Actually, it's not really that random. Brushing my teeth, like when I brush my tongue, game over. Like it is a miracle that I don't throw up every single time. So that kind of thing is back. That, if you don't know, I experienced Oh, the worst morning sickness I've ever had in my life um, for a solid like month, almost a month and a half in the early stages of this pregnancy. So some of that's kind of creeping back in, but I find if I eat breakfast and I drink lots of water and I don't know, I just make sure my stomach has food in it at all times, I'm pretty good. So that's been great. I have had very minimal weight gain with this pregnancy, which I'm very proud of because your girl is a big girl and I'm really trying hard not to gain like 80 pounds like I did with my daughter eight years ago when I had nothing else to do other than to be pregnant. I swear the first baby can almost be hard. It's harder on you almost because you have nothing else to do other than to be pregnant. I mean, obviously if you have work and stuff like that, um, but I feel like when you're pregnant that first time, you're just like, I can eat whatever I want. And this time it's not like that. And I actually, I feel pretty good about it. Also, if you stick around on my channel, I'm going to be putting out a what I eat in a day pregnant just to share it with you guys. Um, I enjoy watching those videos. I figured I would share what I eat. It's not like I'm eating vegan or healthy or you know, super healthy or anything crazy like weird. Um, I just thought I would share just so you guys have an idea of what I eat. I feel like I get a lot of questions about that too, so I feel like that would be something to share. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can check that out in a couple of days. <sighs> so week 17, 16, and 15 have brought on lots of movement. I would say I feel him all the time. He's so low and we were right. The lowness means boy or it, I don't know. He's basically like what I tell everybody, he moved into my fupa. <laughs> Oh, way to out yourself, Lauren. That's fun. Uh, he moved into my fupa, and he's having a party down there. Um, I did have a C-section with my daughter, so when she was trying to get the gender anatomy scan, he was burrowed into my C-section scar, and my placenta was like, it was like a little sleeping bag. He was burrowed into my scar, and my placenta was like hugging him. So she did have a hard time kind of trying to find the gender for a bit, but we did find it, obviously. Um, th but that's how low he is. So think of where a C-section scar is. It's very, very, very low. I'm sure as he gets bigger, he will move up. Currently, he is the size of a pomegranate. I don't eat pomegranates, so I don't know how big that is, but he's like five ounces and five inches long, which is pretty decent size, and I do feel him a lot, which is comforting because I cannot find him on a Doppler. I do not suggest Dopplers. I don't know why that's a thing. Maybe if you're tiny, it's probably okay because you can find it, but I feel for me, it's like a curse. I don't like it. I can never find him. Even though I feel him, as I'm doing it, I can't find his heart rate or heartbeat, and it's annoying to me. So I've given up. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I feel like I'm just setting myself up for failure. So that's been a thing. He's moving a lot. He's such an active baby. And overall, I feel really good. Like with Ella, I felt terrible the whole time I was pregnant, pretty much. It was not a pleasant experience for me, which might have had a playing part in why I took so long to decide to have another baby. Um, that and 
all of the things that went along with Ella's early years of life, but <sighs> I am out of breath though a lot, all the time. <sighs> I do feel really good overall. I feel happy. Um, I feel like this boy <laughs> has made me a little less anxious. Obviously I have mood swings. Like I tried to say I didn't have mood swings, but I do, I fully do because there are moments in life where I just hate everyone and everything and then I love everyone and everything and then I'm sad and then I'm happy. That's natural, it comes with emotions and emo feelings of being pregnant and it's also a big part of my personality. I'm a feeler, I am an empath. I am also, I've been learning an INFJ, which is a personality type, which apparently is super rare, apparently, I don't know. Um, but I'm an empath and I take on everybody's feelings and emotions. So it's, ugh, it's hard life out here for empaths right now in 2020. So you'll find me, you know, either super happy or crying about, you know, Jake losing his golden retriever or something. It's just, I have my moments, you know what I mean? I'm emotional. But overall, if you guys don't know, I have crippling anxiety. I mean, it's the absolute worst. And my anxiety has kind of been gone since I've been pregnant. I'm trying to figure out why that is so that I can keep it up after the baby's born because that would be really nice to carry over. Because I had absolute horrible postpartum anxiety and depression after I had Ella. It was awful. I had no idea what it was. I had no idea what to expect. And it was a nightmare. And I didn't know what it was for a really long time after I had her. And now that I do, I'm being super proactive when it comes to preparing for having him and right after birth. So I'm hoping I can figure out like why I feel so good now anxious wise. Is it a hormone thing? What's up with that? And to see if I can figure out how I can maintain that post birth. <laughs> What else has changed? Oh, I am deep diving into breastfeeding stuff. I did breastfeed my daughter, but it wasn't for very long. And I did not take full advantage of the lactation consultants that were um, provided to me in the hospital. And I quickly gave up after it became very difficult. <laughs> and by very difficult, I mean crying in the middle of the night. She wouldn't latch, it was like a thing. So I've been doing a lot, a lot of breastfeeding research. I am trying my hardest to make sure I'm prepared for whatever comes our way. Lip ties, tongue ties, latch issues, milk production itch issues, whatever the issues may be. So if you guys do have any pro breastfeeding tips, please let me know down below. I'm adding things onto my Amazon registry. You guys are on my butt about that, which is so great because honestly, I have no idea what I need. So I put out a thing on my Instagram the other day and you guys gave me really, really good ideas for him and like for breastfeeding items and just stuff that I just wouldn't have thought of like a butt spatula for like diaper cream. That's amazing. I don't even know if that was a thing when Ella was born. Probably, who knows, but what? So I will make sure I leave my Amazon registry link down below for all of my future videos for you guys because you're so sweet and let me know what I need to add to it because <laughs> I don't know. I'm obviously baby just needs mom and clothes and diapers and wipes and everything else you can figure out along the way. But I am a prepper and I would love to have everything that I could possibly need beforehand um, without being over, over it. So breastfeeding tips and any kind of baby needs or baby must haves, leave me, let them, let them, let them be. Do them down here, please. Because now that I know he is a little boy, I am in full on let's do this mode, you know? I'm out of breath, I said that. Yeah, I get out of breath really easily all the time. That's definitely a pregnancy thing. I just talking, out of breath. <laughs> but overall, I, I'm feeling really, 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 really good. I had to kind of do a little convincing when it came to baby boy's name, which I'm just gonna tell you guys his name. We don't have a middle name yet. That is John's job. He's going to be picking that. So obviously when the time comes, we will let you guys know what his middle name is, but baby boy's name is, drum roll please. <laughs> That's better. His name is going to be Everett. Everett. Everett Brazy, Ella and Everett. How freaking cute is that? I know, I can't. I just think it's such a handsome name. It's a strong name and it's so cute. And I just feel like it fits his little personality right now. Obviously I won't know until I meet him. And I've had a couple people suggest not to name the baby until you meet him, but that is just not how I roll. So his name is Everett and I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys like it too. If you don't, please don't tell me because it'll hurt my heart. <laughs> don't tell me. But week 17 has been great. We're going into week 18. I cannot believe we are almost halfway there. I am in shock. I, I feel, have I mentioned, I feel really good right now. I'm hoping this carries on for as long as we can, you know, carry on for. Um, 
but we did quite a bit of walking the other night and I felt great. Um, I did a couple flights of stairs. I felt okay. I was a lot of breath. But overall, I feel like physically I'm doing really well. I've noticed the chiropractor that I'm doing twice a week has helped a ton. Um, moderate exercise often helps a lot. So much water and just being positive and trying to maintain a clear head and the year 2020 has helped a lot so that means i'm not watching the news <laughs> i am trying to limit anything where all the negative news is and just trying to just remain positive and remember that this is a huge blessing and we are so excited about him coming into the world and life is overall really 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 good we're super blessed and i just feel so grateful to be able to bring a baby boy into the world and have that special bond like a mother and son bond I could cry just thinking about it. I'm so excited to experience that. And I'm so excited that John gets to experience it too. It's just gonna be such a blessing for all of us, Ella included. So that is week 17 of pregnancy. Let me know, girls, if you're pregnant with me down below, a lot of you guys are, which is super fun. Um, let's let's talk, you know what I mean? Let's figure out what do we need? What are, What's working for us? How are we feeling? I just wanna know all about it down below. If you guys have baby boy names picked out for your little ones or baby girl names, I wanna hear all about it. And thank you guys so much for experiencing this journey with me. This journey, oh, the journey, the journey of life. It's been really, really fun so far. And I don't know, I just, I feel very, very, very lucky to be able to bring another baby into this world. So thank you guys for being my friend and my family and my friends. I love you guys and we will see you in the next video, which is what I eat in a day pregnant. So make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> Against my better judgment, I've decided to do that video. So, you know, hang tight. We'll see you in the next one. Bye friends. Do you want to see my baby bump? Oh, big mama. Oh, she big. 17 weeks. Little Everett. Bye.